All right, so this next exercise or drill that we're gonna do, I want you to focus on grip. When we talk about grip, we talk a lot about how much we squeeze the gun, how hard we squeeze this gun. Same thing we all talked about before. But what I want you to focus on now is how you track the gun. I want you to grip the gun in such a way that not necessarily completely mitigates recoil or movement of the dot. I want you to focus on what you see and how consistent it is. So it's not important that the gun is completely flat and the dot doesn't move. It's going to move. The question is, how consistently does it move and does it come back to the same place? It doesn't have to go straight up and down either. Does it go to the right? Does it go to the left? I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about you being aware of what your sights or your dot does, how consistently it does it, and how repeatable it is so you can predict where the dot's going to be. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna run five round strings and during those five round strings, we're gonna shoot a relatively small dot at a relatively slow pace, okay? So that you can track exactly what your dot is doing. Awareness is the key here and how your grip affects what the dot does. Five shots, ready, up. Let's do that again. Five shots, ready, up. So again, the question I would have for you is, where did the dot go? Did you track it? Up and to the right. Up and to the right. Yep up and to the right. And that's pretty common for right-handed shooters, especially if we're putting a lot of pressure on the gun with the left hand, which we should be, that's where that dot will tend to track. Instead of straight up and down, it'll be up and a little bit to the right. And it doesn't matter which way it goes, it matters how consistently it moves and how it comes back. Does the dot always have to track up and to the right? Different people are gonna have different reaction, different guns are gonna have different reactions. The consistency that we're looking for in our grip is for the dot to go to the same place and come back to the same place. The big concern I would have to kind of answer your question is does the dot dip below the point of aim when it returns? And that would be more of an issue. I'm overdriving the gun, I'm trying to over control the gun and the dot is going past the target, then I have to bring it back. That's a waste of time and it shows that you're kind of overdriving the gun. Does that make sense? If I'm overdriving the gun and the dot's going below the target, what do I have to do to change my grip so that doesn't happen anymore? Probably uh, at what point you're adding input to the gun. Well, a lot of times when people are shooting there, as the gun fires, they try to add additional input into the gun to get it back on target and they're adding too much input and that's what's driving it beyond that point. And what we want is consistent input so that we're not trying to add input as we pull the trigger. We're letting the gun do what it does and come back consistently to the same place and not necessarily forcing it to go back to that same place as we pull the trigger. Does that make sense? Yes. Consistently having the consistent pressure on the gun the entire time. If you do that, the gun will track and come back to the same place. All right, guys, to keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to LangdonTactical.com. And to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.